Ellen Juby here and today I'm playing with Christmas stockings. These are ones that I bought on clearance for a quarter a piece last at the end of last Christmas or the year before or the year before but it was definitely within the last like three years that I bought these so not something I've been hoarding for 10 years unlike other things but anyway back to the point. With these uh, stockings they're pretty basic boring, bland. They're cute, but not as cute as they could be, and they're not quite me yet. So what I'm going to do is something very, very simple to them very quick because December is busy. Well, December is crazy and busy for everybody, and on top of that, I have a very special guest that is in my head this month, and that is the guest of the unwelcome relative. And that voice has kind of sucked some of the joy out of the holidays for me in past years, and this year I've had enough of that. So these stockings are sort of my way of quieting that voice down. I am taking a cosmetic sponge here. I've got some white paint from Deco Arts from their media line. And if I wanted to be very careful, I could cut this sponge down really small and actually stencil specific words. But that is not what I want to do right now. I am not going to think too hard about this. I am just going to go to town on this cheap, satin, shiny stuff with this paint that was not meant for fabric. It's you know, regular fluid acrylic kind of paint. I'm going to put some um, acrylic onto that cosmetic sponge, and then I'm going to randomly start stenciling on areas. I'm not stenciling everything. I'm not paying attention to what words I'm stenciling or not stenciling. I'm just trying to get some of the pattern on there. I'm using the words and letters as a pattern here. I'm going to do this on another part of the stocking, and you can tell I'm kind of pressing gingerly. I have a small amount of paint on there, so I'm going to get this really nice, soft, gentle ghost look. And I totally cheated because there's white that's sort of the trim on the stocking, and by putting the white paint on it, everything matches and goes. So the first stocking that I made, that unwelcome relative in my head, was pretty quiet. But, oh buddy, did that relative start to come out and really get loud. Because, look, you can't read some of the words. Oh, look, are those the words that you want on the toe? Oh, wait, the front and the back aren't going to look the same on the stocking because this is going to be really dark. And then look at the blobs and the smears. Oh, my. I kind of like that look. I think it adds some cool variation to it. And I love that each side of the stocking isn't exactly like the other because it's called handmade and unique. And it kind of adds a touch of me to it. And it's not going to be machine perfect. It is not going to be engineering precise. And you know what? That's okay because it's going to be done. And the other thing is this is not going to be a masterpiece. This is not something that's going to be housed in a museum and people are going to look at in 200 years and go, oh my, the craftsmanship. But it's going to be a stocking that's going to be done so I can use it, not in a museum or in a hall of fame, but actually in my Christmas. Well, thanks for joining me for a little of my holiday play here as I quiet down that unwelcome relative in my head that seems to be very closely related to an inner critic. If you would like to know other ways to quiet down an inner critic, I encourage you to sign up for my newsletter because I've got a free video, downloadable video, and PDF waiting for you that's all about three quick and easy ways to thwart the inner critic. Well, thanks for joining me, and if you've enjoyed this video, you know I'd love it if you shared it. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey.